Some may say Gustavo Buno's life and accomplishments have been serendipitous. Serendipity does not involve only the individual. When he was born on July 10, 1928 in Lucerna, Italy, it seemed unlikely that Gustavo Bunos would become a renowned surgeon and researcher, or that he would pioneer groundbreaking discoveries, one of which would lead to the creation of Immunitech, a company devoted to quality health products. Gustavo came into a world on the cusp of catastrophic change. The Great Depression that had hit the United States was being felt worldwide. Though his mother, Ada Bunos, adamantly wanted her only son to become a surgeon, the family struggled just to survive the Second World War and its consequences. When Gustavo was a boy, the Bunos family moved to San Giovanni, a small village at the base of the Italian Alps, where they remained throughout World War II. Though the isolated area offered little opportunity, Gustavo educated himself with a wealth of family literature. The road to higher education was paved with at least one important stop for Gustavo. While at the University of Turin, he attended a lecture given by Dr. Alexander Fleming, the discoverer of penicillin. That single event crystallized the young man's resolve to heed his medical calling. After his surgical residency at the University of Genoa, Dr. Bunos went to the United States as a research fellow in surgery. As fate would have it, U.S. immigration laws forced him to relocate to McGill University in Montreal, Canada, a move that would prove fortuitous. A U.S. congressional record from 1965 illustrates that the Americans knew they had lost a great scientific mind. Just two years later, Dr. Bunos was awarded the Medal of the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Canada for his work in hemodynamics. He then pioneered the use of elemental diets in the prophylaxis and treatment of intestinal lesions. He was named Career Investigator of the Medical Research Council in 1968, which was reconfirmed until 1993. It was in 1978 that Dr. Bunos and a colleague embarked on 20 years of research for a dietary protein source that would boost the human immune system. His work was highly regarded by his peers. Ever since I heard about the work of uh, Dr. Bonos. I realized that he was a very special scientist because uh, he had uh, chosen to work on a subject which was quite different from most of us. Most of our colleagues at that time would uh, not have guessed that milk proteins would become as important as they are today. So in retrospect actually we call Gustavo Bonos a man with vision. There is good evidence the amino acid cysteine is not only a precursor for our uh, proteins, it's also a very important source of glutathione, a major antioxidant in our body. The availability of cysteine and glutathione decline with age, and whey protein is actually the best natural source for cysteine. So uh, Gustavo Bolos, through his work, provided health benefits for many people. Gustavo Bolos is a very, very likable person. And as a colleague, he deserves both respect and affection. In a career paved with scientific milestones, Dr. Bunos found success once again when he discovered what would later become known as Immunical, or HMS-90 an undenatured whey protein isolate that would change the way medicine is practiced. Here's the beginning of the story. 18 years ago, I was working at McGill with Dr. Kong Sharman. Discoveries are not made by scientific committee, are made by individuals. We've been lucky and persistent. A fateful meeting between Dr. Bunos and Immunitech co-founder Dieter Beer allowed the scientist to bring his discovery from the laboratory to the public. So I'll never forget his first words. He said, you know, I'm actually a surgeon, but I don't know. I have always been intrigued by the fact that babies who get mother's milk for six months, 12 months, are much more healthy than those on the best baby food. They don't get allergies so soon. They don't develop cancer so soon. They just have a stronger immune system. So what's the difference? Mother's milk. So it has to be in mother's milk. I have found it, Dr. Bonus, um, if, if we get together, I supply you with assistance, with office work, with office, I take over the financial costs, I assist you in patenting because I have a large experience in this from my other business. What do you think? 
we form a small company and we tried to promote it and he agreed and it changed my life and it was the beginning of Immunotech. There was no industrial equipment available to produce the quality he needed. So with his ideas, with his help, and with his never, never leaving humor, which made all problems uh, half as serious, we obtained the equipment from Europe to trial manufacture it, and we progressed. And uh, so for me, meeting Dr. Bonus was um, not only changing my life, also changing this of many others and of uh, the satisfaction to bringing his dream to reality. Most impressive is his character, his humor, his enthusiasm. If you meet a person like Dr. Bonus and he tells you that he is convinced of something, you believe it. It was one of the, one of the major events of mine and of many other people in this group life to meet him, to work with him. Uh, to see how many people now benefit from it, not only that the company grows on it, but that really we are doing something which is beneficial. Business savvy soon merged with science when Immunitech co-founder Chuck Roberts was added to the formula. He's a key part of what we did here. It's all him. I mean, he is the, he is the, the god of, of uh, whey protein in the world. He's got more articles published on that than anything else. He helped us do everything. I mean, when we put this in the packages uh, here, um, he loved what I did with it. He just loved it because it protects it. The company would not exist without his findings as we wouldn't have done it. I mean, we wouldn't have had a product to go forward with or a product to improve on, which we did at the time, and we improved the packaging. I'm a marketer, so we, we took the marketing from doctors who have no idea what to do with it to, to the market, and that's where the partnership came along, just fantastic. He was a real uh, champion, I mean, he answered all my questions, and uh, the reason I have a bit of knowledge about glutathione today is because he took the time to explain it to me, and uh, it was a wonderful experience. I mean, to have somebody like that, who's that accomplished, who was the first in the world to show, demonstrate some of the science that he did, uh, to have him as your personal professor was, uh, you know, somebody with, uh, curiosity and was interested in the subject, it was a dream come true for me. Oh, he is extremely passionate, uh, particularly the work in cancer. I mean, that was always his ambition for many, many years was to do something meaningful in cancer. It's meant everything to him and, I, and he's extremely happy and content right now. And I mean, that's, uh, I think that's the best gift we could give him. For medical professionals, the benefits of glutathione soon became clear. Science has known about glutathione even since the late 1800s. And we knew a few things about it. We knew about its importance in the function of the lens of the eye. But after Dr. Bunos's work, the whole study of glutathione really exploded. Uh, last time I checked online, there's over 80,000 articles written on glutathione. So we can say a lot about glutathione, but if we wanted to summarize the three most important things that glutathione does in your body, we would use the acronym AID, A-I-D. A stands for antioxidant, and pretty much everybody knows the importance of antioxidant. Glutathione has been referred to, literally, as the master antioxidant. All the other antioxidants that you may have heard of, and many that you haven't heard of, none of these can function without the presence of glutathione. Now let's move on to I for the immune system. Again, if you look at the literature, certain authors refer to glutathione literally as fuel or food for the immune system. If you start running low on glutathione, then your ability to fight off certain threats becomes quite blunted. And finally, D, for detoxification. When I speak to the general public, I'll tell them that next to water, next to water, there's no more important detoxification system than glutathione. Gustavo Bunos's discoveries have yet to reach their full potential, and the benefits of whey protein isolates are a work in progress. We will pursue in the path of research, clinical, experimental, so that the future may be even better than the past. That we know more about the mechanism of this particular medical food, so that we'll be able to treat more efficiently certain diseases which are now escaping from conventional treatment. 
from his humble beginnings in a small Italian village to the significant contributions he has made to science and to human health, Gustavo Bunos has indeed left his indelible and serendipitous mark on the world.